What's going on everybody? This is Cloud Makes a Switch and I'm here with some Switch news and oh my goodness if you just seen my previous video I just covered mad news now this would be a double upload so if you guys don't like double uploads I'm sorry but I am a Switch channel and I like to cover all Switch news and I'm covering about seven articles in this video so I tried to condense it as much as I could I uploaded the previous video and now I'm uploading the remainder video and this is the top story of today Top story is the Switch ships 2.74 million units worldwide. Mwah. Already smashing the Wii U records. Alright. Smashing Wii U records to crimson chins. To smashing Wii U records to ant squishes pebbles. I don't know. They're just killing the game. Look at Zelda. Software is at 5.46 million with Zelda being at 3.8. 84 million! Oh my goodness, dudes! Dude. This is history in the making, bro. This is history in the making. Now imagine this. The stage gets set. Everybody's sitting out on the stands. E3. Reggie comes out. And I have one more announcement. Metroid! Oh! Sales is going through the roof! Smash Bros from Wii U coming to Nintendo Switch going through the roof. Oh my goodness. With extra characters, new arenas. All oh, those people will go wild. And we have one more announcement. This was never before seen. Instead of it being Pokemon Stars, it's a brand new Pokemon game. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm going over my head here. I'm going way over my head here. I'm off the deep end. But just imagine that. Imagine it. Let's get into the article here before I go off topic. Nintendo shared some key statistics about the Switch and the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Game of the year of all time. Check my video about it. About its financial results today. First, total hardware shipments for 2.74 million worldwide. We just talked about that in the hardware of the software. Million, yeah, yeah. Switch generated the most sales in America. With So the most sales came from America. Shout out to USA, homie. 1.2 million units. Next up was Europe. Let me find out. Europe buying up the Switches. 940,000. With uh, Japan rounding out 600,000. That's going to change, guys. You got to remember, there's probably not even a lot of stock in Japan right now. So that's probably why it's been selling like crazy there. Because Japan's known for this stuff. The fact that Japan is less than America? Going to show that Switch is automatically a success. Automatically. Let's get into some more smaller news. One of the smaller news I want to cover. It's one that I actually, to me, it's big news. Because I'm picking up NBA Playgrounds as soon as it comes out. But I know a lot of people aren't really into the whole sports fiascos. But I am. So I'm really looking forward to this game. Usually I would pick it up on my PS4. But really, I need games to play on Switch. So NBA Playgrounds is going to be perfect. Because for my PS4, I have 2K17. And for the Switch, I have no sport games, so might as well have this, right? Especially since I can take it on the go, and I actually do love the Switch. So, they're saying it's coming out May 9th on the European eShop, and they're estimating that America could get it around then or at the same time. So let's pray for that and come in agreement that it drops soon, because for $17.99 in Euros, uh, it's going to be a good price for America. So I'm going to pick that up day one, and I'll probably have a review probably day two, or depends, you know, you know, depends on my thoughts about it. I could have a review five, six hours later. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Next news we wanted to talk about was some, was some Mario Kart 8 news. There's some changes going on in the Mario Kart 8 world, which by the way, I think comes out tomorrow, if you guys want to pick that up. I'm still debating because I have the Wii U and all the DLC. But uh, that just looks so good right now. Aside from the new battle mode, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is similar to the original game with Wii U of, of the Wii U in many ways. However, Nintendo did implement some sub sub subdular changes that you know may not have been aware about. You know, Mamma Mia, not that I'm aware of my Mario, so I don't know where to go with my coins. Yeah, hmm. In the time trials. Additional tournament to icons in the game explained. Now go check out the games explained. Now you're Mario, now you're endorsing. Checking out the game explained. Thank you and have a good day. Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll cut that out. Anyway, next is ARMS. 
Arms, Origins, Future. Yo, by the way, if you didn't understand me, go to Game Explain to see that video where they break everything down like they always do. It's very good. They're very good at what they do with the analyzing and stuff like that. I'm, I'm no good at that. So I, use, I, I recommend going to watch them like I watch them. Instead of me playing the video in my video, I want... I like to support people, you know, they got ads running, they can go get some bad revenue, so go to them. Anyway, Edge has a big feature on ARMS this month. Which upcoming game is on the cover of the magazine? We're gonna go switch to that cover real quick. Look at that! Look at Springman! On the cover of Edge magazine. Now, I talked about this in uh, a, a couple of weeks back, you know, when the channel started getting off its feet. I said, is ARMS the Nintendo secret next blockbuster? Go check that video and... And, and go check that out and and, uh, and and post your thoughts on that video, you know, because I'm really thinking that this is the hidden blockbuster. But as you can see, it's 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 on the, 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 the cover of Edge magazine, man. That means something, bro. Edge gave Edge gave Zelda a 10 out of 10, man. These people and Edge is a hard, hard reviewer. They go on to say, uh, producer, you, um, Yubuki, uh, art director, Misaki, uh, designer, Shinato, Jijigimuku. I don't know. I butcher these names. Shared some comments about ARMS as well between the three. They talked a bit about the game's origins, making it balanced. Also, they uh, they in the actual article they said we posted a number of comments. So these are the compliments. The comment compliments. These are the comments that they wrote. We were thinking of ideas related to things that extend. Things would normally be the rolled up, bunched up, but we could expand with a punch, springs, ribbons, bandage, chains, and the like. We then expanded our ideas from there. So example, we could use change for ninjas. Ninja characters, the characters would appear quite prominent, prominently, so we made their designs fairly detailed. On the core concept of ARMS, I wonder if there was any way to make ARMS a little bit more accessible as a fighting game, so whether it would be possible to replace the elements that make a fighting game, so that's why they have, uh, instead of having openings in your defense during, an, during or after an attack, we have the ARM extension and retraction mechanic, and instead of strong and weak attacks, we have light but fast, slow but heavy weapons, that's cool. On additional fighters, this is the one that I care about. The fighters we announced are just a f Oh my goodness, dude. I didn't even see this coming. I didn't see this coming. It says, the fighters we have announced are just a fraction of what's to come. What else is coming, guys? Oh my goodness, we'll be introducing fighters all the, t all the time with all sorts of abilities. Oh my goodness. I think this is going to be the game. The game to end any game. Any fighting game. They said... I quote, we'll be introducing, let me highlight it instead of the whole article, fighters all the time. What does that even mean? Is this going to be on forever like how Smash Bros had all DLC characters for like a long time? Like every four months there was like a new person coming out? Oh my goodness. ARMS is going to be a beautiful game. Pick it up. I will pick it up. Good thing I have four Joy-Cons, two, uh, one for each hand. That's four when you separate them. Because you have two hands. Uh, on the balance. They just talk about the balance of the game. They're talking about motion controls. Which we, we already know about that. And arms. Okay, here we go. Arms to be a franchise. It would be a dream for this to become a franchise spanning decades. But right now, only a small number of people in the world know about arms. Those who currently follow the games and new games and technology. First, I'd like, to, I'd like those people to play arms and then have fun with the game. Offers a brand new playstyle, brand new characters, and brand new strategic gameplay. So that is a lot of information about ARMS. Like, wow, that's an information overload right now for me. That's a lot. It's very deep. It's on top of the covers. And let's see. What else? We covered almost everything. We got two more to cover. Uh, we, this is small news. Nintendo Switch available on Amazon for Prime members. If you're a Prime member, go pick up your Switch because you have a chance to. But then again... They could sell out in like five minutes. So by the time this video is posted, they probably can already be sold out. The last bit of news is more bombs by Kirishima back to back. He says Zelda Breath of the Wild sales booyahed by entirely new players of who heard about strong reception. Yes, because Edge Magazine gave a 10. IGN gave a 10. Game Informer gave a 10. Uh, GameSpot gave a 10. All these different companies gave 10s to the Zelda game, and people that weren't Zelda fans were like, you know what? I'm playing this freaking game because I am not missing out on a masterpiece. And everybody bought that thing. If you're a true gamer, you bought Zelda. You're gonna buy Zelda. You're gonna play Zelda. You're gonna love Zelda. You're gonna be all about the Zelda train. 
Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild was purchased by a ton of series fans. However, the game's success can also be attributed to entirely... Clear my throat. <clears throat> Excuse me. Entirely new players. The Wall Street Journal writer Tashaki Matsuku passed along a comment made by Nintendo president Tashaki Kirishima. In a brief statement, he said that entirely new players who haven't experienced Zelda before gave Breath of the Wild a shot after hearing about its strong reception. Nintendo CEO. Strong Zelda sales. And that was his quote on the Twitter. Wow, that is a lot of news. So, guys. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. As you can see, I'm rocking with 25 subscribers myself. So hit that subscribe button. Stay up to date all things Switch related. Feel free to leave your thoughts below in the comment section. I'm a new channel. I read and respond to every single comment. I'm Cloud and I made the Switch. And so can you. Have a God bless day. Thank you. And we just finished our information blowout. So I will not be triple uploading and, be and bothering you guys today. But... Best believe if some breaking news comes out, I don't care. I'm triple uploading. I'll quadruple uploading if some breaking news comes out. But if it's just some quiet news, you'll hear about it tomorrow, bros. God bless him. Peace. I think that was a little bit too over the top, but I'm uploaded anyway.